Hi guys, welcome to the Original Gamers UK. So I want to talk to you about Olden Ring, what we know so far, what there has been rumoured and leaked. Uh, so potential spoilers, but as I say, this is just a leak. We don't actually know if this is anything official because we've not heard any news on the game really since E3 last year. So um, just to kind of give you my journey of From Software Games and why my uh, eagerness for this game and the anticipation of this game is just getting greater and greater and greater. So I played Dark Souls years and years and years ago, going into expecting it to be a traditional RPG. Um, and I didn't really know what to think to it. I was just kind of like, right, okay, why am I not able to kill things like, you know, as easy as in other games? And I wasn't getting the whole concept behind it. Um, and so I kind of left it. And then when I got the PS4, Obviously, was being told about Bloodborne being like one of these, you know, must-have exclusives and stuff like that. Um, and got Bloodborne, and it was the same thing again. That I was just like, "What? Like, I don't get this game. This is just insanely hard. This isn't. This isn't fun." Um, and then <laughs> you'll laugh about this, and then to like just kind of tell you, this is how bad I used to be at these games back then. It was like I hadn't even realised it was a fast attack and then a slow attack. So I was, I did a third of the Bloodborne game, literally a third of the Bloodborne game, using RT, RT attacks, so the strong attacks only, and then realising the whole time that I've been like, oh my god. Um, yeah, anyway, it's a testament to this series that I came back to it, because even when I didn't know how to play it properly, I was still hooked and wanted to get better at it to progress through the game. And then, you know, since then, um, I've completed Bloodborne, I think, two or three times fully. And I've actually platinum that game. Um, played Sekiro, platinum that. Um, completed Dark Souls 3, um, I think, two times. That's Simon's favourite game. Simon's completed it an insane amount of times. You know, double figures, we're talking. And then Dark Souls Remaster, I'm actually playing through um, again now to fully experience that game. So... Um, I've also just played um, Neo 2 and Neo uh, in like the last few months, and even though they're not from software, obviously they have a similar feel to these kind of games. So my hype for Elden Ring now is greater than I ever thought it would be, and it's uh, a game that um, we intend on putting through, um, you know, our playthrough on the game. So that is the journey up to Elden Ring, and what do we know about it so far? Well. It's obviously a From Software game, we've got the one trailer, and then there has been some influence, or like the backstory has been um, developed by George R. R. Martin, who uh, does Song of Fire and Ice, or Game of Thrones. And that's all we kind of know. But then there's been some leaks recently, and if these are true, there is some, you know, we've got a lot an awful lot to look forward to but we have this is nothing that's been confirmed um, so it's not something that I'm saying it's just something that's come out recently um, and it basically just kind of sounds like a mixture of Lord of the Rings and Legend of Zelda which is uh, you know a lot of From Software games kind of have that feel uh, but I've especially noticed the Legend of Zelda link recently so the stuff that we've been told is that there is going to be eight kingdoms within Elden Ring and the scale of it is meant to be bigger than Dark Souls 3, um, including the DLC, and Bloodborne, including the DLC. So it's going to be a huge, absolutely huge world. And if that's the, their original game prior to any DLC, the game is going to be insanely massive. I would like to see it, though, that it's like Sekiro and the game just comes out and that's everything. That, that is the game. That, for me, is one of the best things about Sekiro is there hasn't been a DLC for it. I don't think it's needed. Um, and the combat in that game, I can go on for, about that game for anyway. But, yeah, so, eight kingdoms, and then in between the kingdoms, and this is where it's got definitely a Legend of Zelda feel to it, there is one huge, like, called the field, that is the open world area that links all of those places. And you can supposedly traverse on them, um, like, on horseback, on wolfback, um, on bears, and I'm thinking, okay, wow, well, I'm going to assume, if that's true, that there will be a point in the game where you could maybe, like, fast travel via um, Dragon. That'd be, that'd be awesome. So that's kind of um, the world setting and how it's being, being done. And that would be 
cool and, and in the field it's not just literally like I'll go from here to there there are places to explore there are secrets so yeah really Legend of Zelda style um, and each kingdom has mini bosses just like the other games and then a final boss um, what they've said about the final bosses in each area is that there will probably be multiple phases to them um, like I don't know if that's just like a couple of them or all of them um, and if that's in one fight as in like you know it's um, you know it's a fight that has like a few stages or whether it's going to be like you fight them there and then later on in that state in that kingdom you fight them again who knows um, but they've said that it will be um, a challenge for even the most you know die hard pro players of any of the front software titles so we shall see I mean what what kind of difficulty do you guys um, one, I think that's quite a hard question because everyone rates them, you know, uh, differently. There's some of the games in the series that I would, that I feel like, oh yeah, yeah, I did that far easier than that bit. But then, you know, everyone's got their own personal opinions on it. So yeah, how, do, what kind of difficulty level? I mean, everyone's just gonna be like, I want it more and more difficult. But genuinely, like, how, yeah, how hard do you want it? Do you want it really aimed at the pro of the pro, or like slightly easier? Um, I, I feel that I wouldn't want it to get any easier than it has been, definitely not any easier, um, but maybe a better tutorial and guide going in for it for new players. It's like, if it is going to get insanely difficult, at least it has properly shown you how to do everything and in a way that um, other games I don't feel did as well. That would probably be the one thing that I would say, and I know I'm probably going to get some hate for that, but I just think that, yeah. A, a tutorial would be like this is the concept of the game this is you know how you attack this is how you meant to conserve your stamina if that's even going to be a thing I think that'd be um, I think that'd be a really good way of doing it um, we've also heard that there's going to be character creation um, so you know Sekiro didn't have that but um, going back to uh, character customization which I think is going to be uh, something that lots and lots of people uh, have wanted to see and I I'm all for that. I, I definitely like to be able to have the choice of you know how my character looks and their style and yeah. So character customization. What kind of gameplay would you guys want the game to have? Which of the series would you most like it to uh, like be like? Would you like it to be like a Dark Souls one? It's much more methodical, really conserving your stamina, like block defending, or would you like it more to be like um, Sekiro was? It's a current Bloodborne where I would say it's more offensive, you're able to dodge more, you've, it, it's not so much about blocking like blocking. Um, I personally would like it to be more offensive, I find that more fun and that's not to take away from Dark Souls, I love that side of it as well but I think, I think this actually will be more like Dark Souls. Um, but I think bringing the mechanics from the other games, I mean you can kind of see in the trailer that um, the character who they show has like limbs and they put it uh, they put the limb back on kind of reminded me of obviously the prosthetic arm in Sekiro or like is that something that they acquired from one of the bosses do you it, it, you know is it like Metroid where you're earning back some of the things that you've that you've lost are you going back to get all all that equipment and you're getting stronger as you go along and all those set all those set skills or do you get or is that just fully customizable throughout the journey of the game? Who knows? I, I would like to, there to be more customization, uh, definitely than what was in, in Sekiro. Dark Souls is amazing for having, you know, you've got all those different weapons, whether you buy the weapon, find the weapon, um, get them from NPCs, get them from bosses, and then each of them you can upgrade like an insane amount, and you really have a say of the weapon that you have and make a build personal to you whereas in Sekiro it's like you, you've got this weapon yeah you can level it up but you've got to learn how to fight with this so I would definitely prefer it to be the Dark Souls weapon range and style of being able to upgrade and choose a weapon that suits you but I would like it to have be more offensive um, like Bloodborne and Sekiro so that's my personal thoughts on that and the last uh, rumoured uh, thing that they've said, and this is similar to other games, I guess, where you have your NPCs, and depending on what you do with their NPCs, kind of changes 
the story you have with them and certain items you acquire, certain gestures. But in Elden Ring, one of the leaks has said that it can actually change the storyline and where you're able to progress to. Um, so NPCs sound like they're going to have... The, I don't think they're going to be around as much. I think in the open world it's said that they won't really be there, but they're like based in the kingdoms. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but NPCs have always been a big deal with it. So guys, yeah, Elden Ring... I, I, I'm definitely not thinking it's coming out any time this year. I mean, the fact that we've gone this long, we still haven't heard anything. I, even though it's been in development since Dark Souls 3 Final DLC, uh, which I think was right around 2017, 2016, something like that, I can't see it happening this year. And like people are like, saying like it's June. I'm like, no, it's, it's not going to be June. We've not even had another trailer. But I am definitely getting more and more hype for it. Um, I just want to have another trailer, like a release window at least, and just for them to confirm a few more of the mechanics. But guys, yeah, so that's my uh, just kind of updating you on my journey, like leading up to Elden Ring and some of the stuff we've heard and whether that's we think that's true. And yeah, um, so guys, let me know what you think. Are you excited for Elden Ring? What would you like to see? Um, and I shall see you guys soon.